staring right at it. Oh, <laughs> does it look like I'm moving though? Am I frozen? No, not at all. I have a pulse. Yeah. Yeah, maybe so. Thank you. Hey. Oh, <laughs> we are recording this, so everybody behave. Um, I, th I think it's, we'll go ahead and kind of get started, but um, actually this is Bruce, Bruce, Bruce's child, right? And he was unable to be here today. So everything's okay, but he just had an appointment he needed to go to at the last minute. So Barb Butts, yay, he's got you set up on the other end. Um, so I'm going to kind of go back and forth, uh, just kind of sharing my screen, because I wanted to kick things off in case you haven't been to um, this site that, that, that Bruce and I are kind of working on. Uh, let's see. Let me. Where is it? Share screen. Oh, duh. There's share screen down there. All right. Um, so you should see my screen, right? Okay, good. Because I wanted to, the, the invitation that I sent out, um, you know, for this meeting, it had this link. Um, at the top, it says instructional technology, instructional tech, sec.blogspot.com. So this is like um, when we videotape this session, it'll be up there. And um, what else was I going to say? I guess that's just it. Um, so this is kind of a repository of stuff. Um, the other thing, and this is Bruce. Bruce said we should kind of review just just briefly that up here um, last time we were uh, a week ago, we talked actually about Digo. And so I'm kind of at that that website, instructional tech sec.blogspot.com. And here's like a nice little concise video on that social bookmarking. And then um, so the other thing is with regard to Digo. Um, there's tabs up here. This is kind of fun. This is a real easy blog to maintain. But if you click this tab, this is where you can find um, today's, today's video will be posted and last week's video was also posted. So that's on the tab. That's kind of fun. So I'm going to go back to home. Any questions about Digo or I know we're kind of going back. What's the website again? Oh, it's... It's, you know, the, the term instructional technology? Well, it's based on that. So it's instructional tech, and then there's no spaces, T-E-C-H, sorry. Instructional tech, T-E-C-H, and then S-E-C. And then it's dot blogspot dot com. And Thank you. You're welcome. So... Um, it's, it's all good. Um, the other thing is, um, also kind of, and this, this is something from Bruce, but I don't know if you, can you guys see where it says opportunity October 12th through 14th? Can you see that resolution? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay, good. So there's a website there and actually you can use, um, you'd have to use the zoom technology, but it's a cool opportunity, uh, next week. So it's kind of short notice, but I th I'm thinking you can just plug in for an hour or something with your zoom. It's, it's usually you have to pay, but it's free. It's an Iowa technology thing. So, um, from this blog spot, you can get that. And I, and I have it, uh, my little hint was, LOL. Um, by the way, it, lo it would look awesome on your PDPs. So, it's a thought. Okay, so, but on to what we're supposed to be doing today. So, I'm going to stop sharing, and I'm trying to think, what would Bruce do? <laughs> and he would probably ask um, something like, what do you want to get out of it? But also, I guess I would throw out the question, and when I say it, I mean Dropbox. Um, on a, on a scale of putting your hand up way high or kind of putting your hand like this, how many people use Dropbox? Okay, very good. Um, a similar question, how many people, now this is a different product, but they are very, very, very closely connected. How many people use Google Drive? Oh, that's so, okay, very similar. There are some benefits to all these sort of cloud storages. Um, so uh, I thought that, 
So what do you guys want to get out of it? That would be what Bruce asked. Well, I, I know once I was at a conference where they were encouraging us all, all of our community college physics instructors, well, let's put all of our, you know, um, like exams, you know, in a common repository so we can compare them. And, and the guy was like, well, let's just go to Dropbox. And I said, okay, well, what do I do? He said, oh, just go to www.dropbox.com. It's like, well, then how do I find this repository where we're all putting to answer your question, and we'll, we'll go through that today, um, somebody who created it or somebody who has edit access needs to send you a link, okay, to the Dropbox. If you created it, you send somebody else a link, and then you can all collaborate. But if somebody else created it, they have to share the link with you. Okay. But my other thing is I wince because I wouldn't put anything um, that is – the confidential, like, um, and well, that was the next question I had, which is yeah. how the heck I, I, I guess what I would say is I have a general mistrust of the cloud. Yep. And recent news events have certainly not made me more trusting of the cloud sure. and so you know what kinds of things should i be putting in the cloud what other things should i not be putting in the cloud well i'll kind of show you and actually barb and i talked before we started and and we have kind of used it um with our family um and like um our daughter went to denver and took lots of pictures and she can put those in her Dropbox and share a link for the whole Dropbox folder and I could see them. And to me, I'm kind of like, you know what? If somebody wants to see her pictures of Denver, <laughs> you know, I'm okay with that. Um, so that sort of thing, you know, I'm fine with. And I use it a lot for my teaching because I'm kind of like, if somebody wants to see my review sheet that I'm putting, I'm kind of, I use Dropbox to send it to myself basically to catch it somewhere else. I'm like, eh, go for it. You know, what I would not put in Dropbox or any cloud storage, and this is just me, is like students' grades, um, students' personal information, like their social security numbers. I, I wouldn't do that. Um, I put graded exams up there once they're already electronically available to my students who can push them all over the world. Um, but I wouldn't put my answer or my, the exams that I'm going to use. So. That's a good, any other questions? That's a good point. And I know that if uh, IT were here, they would say, do not put anything personal on any cloud, you know, so. Um, okay, so let's, let's see. I just want to um, show you, uh, kind of back to Chris's question, in general, how Dropbox works. Um, you can, I posted a, um, a site how you, where you, well, how do you want to say this? To enroll in anything, um, oops, to enroll in anything, you just like go to the website and set up account. It's free. I will tell you Dropbox has a certain amount of space. If you want more space, you can pay. <laughs> um, I will tell you that I have never paid for cloud space. I just make sure that I, I weed it out occasionally. So, um, so once you have your Dropbox, oh, it keeps giving me a message, sorry. Once you have your Dropbox account, then you need to go ahead and put it on your PC, okay? And honestly, around here, if the PC belongs to SCC, they will go ahead and install a, a Dropbox program. Even without the Dropbox program on your PC, once you have an account, you can go ahead through the internet and start sending stuff around. But I'm going to go to my screen sharing because once you have, um, you know, a Dropbox account and you have it on your PC, the cool thing is, is it will show up in your um, Windows Explorer. Or is that what I want to say? No. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Windows Explorer. So do you guys see the little Dropbox icon up there? No. No. Oh. I think I didn't finish that thought. You still see us or see me? Okay. Now. Now do you see? Yeah. Okay. 
So I'm going to click on uh, Dropbox. I know I've got two Dropboxes here. I think that was an accident. They're identical. <laughs> so I'm going to open up my Dropbox. And actually, it's already over here. And you see that one thing about Dropbox is it's just like your other, your, um, well, this is on my PC. So if I don't have, I think this is right. If I don't have internet connection, um, I have my latest Dropbox. So um, um, you see it all kind of organized over here. Let me show you, for instance, what I put up there. I'm going to click on uh, EHS 151. Are you guys getting feedback? We were getting a little bit of clear now. Okay. So I'm going to click on that. I'll try that. Yeah. And over here is some stuff that I had for that class on the cloud. Is it still echoing? Oh, does somebody have their iPad uh, zooming? We'd see it here. Okay. So I'm going to plug them back in because now we're going to I don't know where that sounds coming from. Interference between two mics. Two microphones. I heard that. Perhaps. He's kind of kicked in when. Okay. Okay. We're going to try it and see if it doesn't drive us nuts. Yeah, your sound is cutting out occasionally. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. So, so let me do this. If I wanted to share... Um, um, this uh, due dates fall 2011, 2014. Yeah, we see it. Okay. Okay. I would do a right click. Okay. And then one of my options is to uh, copy a link. So do you see where it says share Dropbox link? I'm going to uh -huh. click on that. And it's going to tell me over there in the corner that it went ahead and copied a link to my uh, a link to go ahead and send to anybody who wants to see that document. So, Chris, does that answer your question for sharing a document with colleagues? Okay, so then the link, and then I would put that link in an email. Right. To whoever. Okay. Yep. And then anyone who sees that email can follow the link. So they can send it to their 50 friends. And right. That's right. Now, kind of related to that, um, let me go ahead and um, go back to the folder. So now I stepped out of PHS 151, which is astronomy. Now I'm going to right click on the entire folder. Okay, and I don't know if you saw the icon. Actually, that, that folder already had an icon with two people, so I've already shared it. But similarly, now on the folder, I can click Share Dropbox Link, and this is what our daughter did with her Denver photos. Same thing. Now it's one link for the entire folder. Okay. Can you send that from your regular email? You don't have to use, you don't have to go into Dropbox. Um, right, I think so. Is this what your question is? So I'm going to show you, you exactly like what Chris said. Let me go ahead and um, open up um, my SCC email. It says 210 unread messages. Now, none of them are from y'all, so. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> They're all junk. So I'm going into my email. And so let's just say I'm going to start a new message of somebody who I want to have that whole folder. And um, Chris, you wanted to we both teach that class. Yeah, sure. OK, so it's going to go to you. And I'm going to say test link. 
And then down here, you can either do control V to paste it, or you can go where the cursor is and do a right click. And one of your options is to paste. And so you paste it there. Now it's a humongous link, okay? But there it is, okay? And the deal is, is if you were to go ahead, I'm gonna show you what, what Chris is gonna see. So I'm gonna go over here and open a new browsing window. And I'm gonna paste that in there, okay? And then I'm gonna to go to that link. So it looks a little bit weird and it might look, so this is the internet. This is somebody trying to access the folder that we've set up. It's funny, we set it up and, so this is what they're gonna see. It's a little slow, a little faster and other things, okay? Um, but notice there's a share button and they could push it back out there. This stuff will populate, <laughs> but you know, is there any, does that make sense? And you know, yeah, and I've used, you know, through the PCs um, uh, Explorer, but really you could also just go, if you're at any random, you know, library uh, PC, you can go log yourself into Dropbox and you can see your Dropbox stuff and manipulate your Dropbox stuff from the cloud, not on your PC, because it's out there in the cloud. But don't put anything personal out there in the cloud. <laughs> what do you think? So now I have a follow-up question. Okay. If you share folders like that, and then subsequently new stuff is added to the folder, somebody who has the old link can see the new stuff? It's, it's my, and I think I've tested this, or accidentally, um, but it's a living folder. So... Um, it's it's not frozen at all. It's dynamic. So when you add or subtract things, it's added to subtract. If you delete the whole folder, it's it's entirely deleted. Yeah. Okay. That, that's useful because one of the things you ask me for is, well, can I have the lecture notes, the PowerPoint? And I'm really curious if you can have those. And that would probably be then an easy way to set it up where I could have a folder for that course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can add new lectures to it. And then the students don't have to ask me every time there's a new lecture. But, but does Dropbox get automatically updated? Or do you have to send? I'm pretty sure it, um, and sometimes you'll kind of see that over there um, for your PC, it uploads from the cloud to your PC. So I think the syncing happens like that in the cloud, and the syncing happens with your PC when you're connected to the, the internet. So I, I really think it's, and I, the other thing I want to show you is um, kind of tossing things using Dropbox um, from your PC to your tablet. Um, and that happens just like, just kind of like that, you know, light takes a certain amount of time uh, to travel. I don't know about Dropbox, but I know that OneDrive, which used to be SkyDrive, doesn't do it automatically. You have to do it. You have to synchronize it. Okay. My, my understanding of, of how Dropbox works is that as long as you have that little icon down in your tray in the in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, uh, the, the process for Dropbox is active. And anytime that you move files uh, to your Dropbox folder, it will automatically sync those up with the cloud. And so then as long as you're moving I, that, All I know is OneDrive does not do yeah, that. Yeah. You have to resync it with the sync. There's lots right. of sync programs right. in between. You do not have to do that with Dropbox. And you know, OneDrive and Google Drive and Dropbox and, excuse me, um, Box, there's one just called Blue Box. Um, they're all, they all have different kind of nuances to them. So uh, before I show you the iPad, I want to show you, um, I'm going to stay on the PC and, and open up my folder again for Dropbox. And um, so do you guys see this one that says apps? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to open that up. And actually the apps is an iPad thing. So you see analytics for iPad, attachments, DoodleCast Pro, Guitar Tab, InstaWeb, 
Um, and this one down here, tiny scan, that's, that's one of my, the apps I have on my iPad, which seems so far away. But the thing here is when I use my iPad in that app, this is where my stuff gets saved. So I just love tiny scan. It's a, I love the name, but these things are things that I scanned in using that app on my iPad. And this is where it put it in the Dropbox. Now I can see it on my iPad, but I can also see it on anything else that I have Dropbox to use it on. Does that make sense? So let's go to my iPad right quick. I hear, I show some, hmm. Okay. Should work. I'm going to use Air Server, which is really kind of fun. Um, there it goes. And Air Server is um, Air Server. <laughs> it's a way to talk um, to basically take um, the 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 iPad and and project it onto the PC. Come on, where are you? It's got this kind of symbol to it. I want to open it. I've had this problem before. Now I'm going to open again. It's like it's already open. You're like, where are you? Direct. I got an idea. Okay. Barb, it worked when we tried it before, didn't it? That's your cue. Sad face. I know it's not one of those. Well, let's open it up again. So what it is, is if you're familiar with uh, um, the iPads, you can kind of do, an, do an, up, uh, an up swipe down at the bottom, and you can, you, you can connect to Apple TVs. And so it's very much, if you use an Apple TV, Air Server does the same, same way. So I'm clicking on what should work now. Oh, you are evil. Is it hiding somewhere? Well, it says it's running. I don't know if we can blame the internet, but I'd like to. Um, one more time. Okay. Well, what I would have shown you <laughs> is simply the app on the iPad that um, that you can uh, that you can. It's it's kind of like seeing. Uh, it's an app you open up. It says Dropbox, and you can install it on your iPad. And there you see all of your stuff that's in the cloud. So uh, what I wanted to show you was the cool thing about Dropbox is it can be a great intermediator in that you can send stuff from your iPad and catch it on your PC or send stuff from your PC and catch it on your iPad. It could be a tablet because Android also has a Dropbox app. Okay, And how it, it connects up the different... Uh, formats, I just am amazed. So, um, the other thing related to um, kind of the iPad is I'm going to go back to just the root dr uh, Dropbox, and there's a thing called camera uploads and um, talk about syncing. 
the thing is, is when I put something on my iPad camera, it goes up into my Dropbox because that's how I've set it up. So I'm, that's another way to throw things up into your, your, in this case, your photos and catch it in your Dropbox anywhere. But that's just with regard to photos. So sorry about my air server. Are there any questions? I'm going to quit stop sharing. There. So what do you think? Comments? What what's other people using it for? Dropbox. Use it to send the PowerPoints to instructors so they can take a look at them before they come to class. Did you hear what she said? Hey Chris, did you hear what hey, she yeah. said? Yeah. Yeah, so there's yeah. that. You yeah. send a link yeah. to them. Send them a link to them. Look at the book at all the all they teach. They need. Anything else? Anything else? Okay, so okay. I had in my notes, since we're bumping up against bumping the, top of the hour. Yeah. Um, Bruce said Bruce? to let you know that Bruce? next week I think we'll do something with Ivy, which is specifically Bruce? Apple, but that's okay. And with and the latest eight, can, am I cutting in? Am I? You are cutting out. So uh, all I heard was next week you're going to do something with I. Oh, oh. It has to do with Apple, and of course, it starts with I. I always say I. So, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> and if you have yeah. anything else to for, for, for uh, go over, go then then okay. <laughs> What would you guys oh, there, about about inviting invite students? Students. Um sure. I mean the the only downside might be some instructors who maybe don't want to do these things while their students bugging them to do them, but and pesky some yeah. But I mean, I, I, I don't see a reason not to invite the students to these things. Mm -hmm. Students might even have however ideas like, oh, well, I want to put all my assignments in Dropbox so I don't have to print them out or email them or, you know. I'll just send you the link to where my assignments are. Mm -hmm. There are instructors that do use Team Companion, and that's how they have their students submit their assignments. There's a Dropbox. Yeah. yeah. E and Team Companion, sure. and yeah, the Dropbox, and that's how the students have to submit their assignments. Mm -hmm. It's funny it's how funny. E Companion, e -companion. Dropbox. Dropbox, and it's different and than different. Dropbox. Okay. Okay. We'll keep thinking. Keep thinking. And, well, and let us know. Okay. Okay. Thank what, you. Work on the sound. Yeah. Have a good one, everyone. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.